continuing the series of weekly contest 287 my name is sanjit dirija i am working as sd4 at adobe and the second question in the list is find players with zero or one loses here in this question we are given an array of matches wherein the first entry of the element represents the winner name winner id and the second entry represents the loser id what we need to do we need to return the answer that has two elements in it the first element represents the list of all players that have not lost any match and the second player second entry represents the list of all players that have exactly lost one match and these values should be returned in increasing order that means the id should be returned in increasing order here they have provided us with an example i'll be walking you through this example as well as the algorithm to go about it by the presentation so let's quickly hop on to it lead code triple two five find players with zero or one loses it's a medium level question on lead code however i can rate this question in easy category as well also in case if you have any feedback or doubt with respect to any of the problems or coding in general please feel free to get in touch with the telegram group of coding decoded or on the discord server both the links are present in the description of the problem so let's quickly hop on to the same example and let's see how can we come up with the algorithm so here this this is the list that is given to us and in the first go what do i need to do i need to identify the list of all players who have not lost any match so what i can do i can first of all i trade through the entire matches array that is given to me and i can identify the list of all players that i have so the ids of all players i'm going to create a set for it so let's create this id set all player set ap let's call it ap and let's iterate through it along with this i'll also create another set that is represent all those players who have lost at least one match so let's call it loser set l set and let's start the iteration we have one and we have three so we'll add one and three into it and three gets added in the loser set next we have two and three so two gets added into all player set and three is already present next we have three and six so three is already present in all player set let's add six next we have also i should add six over here because uh, six is a new new loser and then we have five six so five gets added in all player set and six is already present next we have five seven seven gets added in all player set and seven also get added in the loser set next we have four five four gets added in all player set and seven is already present in the loser data then we have four eight so eight gets added over here all player set and we have eight also added to the loser set next we have four nine nine gets added to all player set nine also gets added to the loser set along with this we have ten four so ten gets added in all player set so let's try ten over here and four is already present as part of the loser set so we'll not again add it next we have ten comma nine so ten is already present as part of the all player set nine is already present as part of all player set or nine is already present as part of the loser set in this way we have simply identified list of all the ids or of the players that have taken part in the tournament along with this we have also identified the set of all the ids of the players that have lost at least one match that means the loser set now we can simply do in order to identify our first entry we need to identify those players who have not lost any of the match so we'll be iterating through the all player ids and we will cherry pick those ids that are not part of the loser set so let's walk through it is one part of the loser set no it's not part of the loser set so one will be part of our answer set next is two so is two part of our loser set no it's two is also not part of our loser set three is part of our loser set we'll go on a skip it next is four is part of our is not part of our loser set we'll add it to our answer next five is again also not part of our loser set we'll add it to our answer six is part of the loser set we'll skip it seven is part of the loser set we'll skip it eight is also part of the loser set we'll skip it nine is also part of the loser set we'll skip it 10 is not part of the loser set we'll add it to our result 
so in this way we have successfully identified the list of those ids that have not lost any single match now let's look out for the second entry of the answer that we need to create we need all the players that have lost exactly one match if in case a player loses more than a match that should not be part of the answer set so what we can do for this we can create a map and this map will basically store the player id and the number of times that player has lost the matches losing count lc let's call it lc and let's start the iteration the first one that we see is 3 uh, is 3 part of this map no it's not part of the map so we'll simply go and add 3 comma 1 into it let's proceed ahead next we see is again 3 so the frequency or the losing count gets updated to 2 next we see is 6 so let's add 6 comma 1 into our map next we see is again 6 so the frequency gets updated to 2 next we see 7 so let's add 7 to our answer set uh, to our map set and the frequency gets updated to 1 next we see is 5 5 is also not part so the frequency gets updated to 1 let's again proceed ahead next we see is 8 the frequency gets updated to 8 comma 1 next we see is 9 a new entry gets added 9 comma 1 next we see is 4 a new entry gets added 4 comma 1 and next we see is 9 again so the frequency of 9 gets updated to 2 now what we can do we can iterate through this map and check at what all instances is the frequency coming out to be 1 so I can see it at 7 so 7 will become part of the answer next we see is 5 5 will also become part of the answer next we see is 8 8 will also become part of the answer followed by 4 so this is the entries that should be part of the second list and once we have identified those we can sort these up and after sorting how will it be updated we will have 4 5 7 and 8 because as per the question we should return the result in the increasing order and this is what should be done as part of finding out the second element of our answer set so the first one was this 1 2 4 5 10 and the second one was 5 4 7 8 which is in sync with our expectation so we'll add both these entries to a list and return the answer set also here also again we'll have to do uh, the sorting part as i have done here which i forgot to tell you while iterating so do keep in mind to sort these entries once we have generated the set or the list so let's quickly hop on to the coding section and conclude the entire approach as discussed here I have created a list of lists that will actually help us storing the answer. Next I have created a set of all players. I have also created the set of losers, a set of non-losers and finally a lost one match set of all those players who have lost one match. Again apart from this I have created a map that will basically help us identify the player id along with that we will have the value as losing count. So I will walk you through uh, each one of them I have created so many uh, sets or maps so what I, I'll do I'll iterate through the matches array and I'll add uh, each entry match dot zero that means the person who has won the match or the person who has lost the match into my all player set and uh, all, again apart from this I'll also add match dot one entry in my loser set along with this I'll also update the uh, frequency of the person who has lost the match and I'll update the value to uh, lost times plus 1 so by default it would be 0 and it would be updated to 1 with each iteration once I'm done with this what will I do I'll iterate through all the players that I have and in case that player doesn't belong to my losers um, set then it that means he's a he or she is a non-loser i'll add it to my non-loser set because i'm interested in identifying all those players who have not lost any of these matches apart from this i then i iterate through all the entries of my map and i check those instances where the losing count has been updated as one so i'll add it to my lost one match set so here that was the reason why i i, I created this lost one match as set once I am done with this, I will simply sort these two up, I will cast it into array format and I simply add it to my result. In the end, I simply return the ANS value that I have created above. So pretty simple and straightforward. 
no rocket science there so let's try this up accept it the time complexity of this approach is order of n where n signifies the number of matches that we have and the space complexity is defined as the total number of players that i have so total players which in the worst case would be equal to the total number of matches that i have into 2 this brings me to the end of today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye